Hello friends, Music Man here. So I said I would talk about it, so let's talk about it. Trucks. Uh, trucks to me have always been a utilitarian vehicle. Uh, they don't get very good gas mileage. Uh, they might get okay gas mileage. Some of them on the road can get as high as like 25 miles to the gallon. But most of them don't do very well with gas. The Toyota Tundra gets about 13 miles to the gallon. How do I know this? Because a worker, uh, a guy that I work with, it's an art teacher, he has a Toyota Tundra and it's a beautiful machine. It's still got only 50,000 miles on it. He gets 13 miles a gallon, 13 miles a gallon around town and about 21 miles a gallon on the road. And which for me, that's pretty low. And so you gotta have a, a use for that. Now the truck I drive, it gets about, um, on average around town, about 15 to 19 miles of the gallon. It's a little two-wheel drive, 86 Toyota Camry, the R22 um, motor, or 22R motor. And uh, so, but I didn't really buy it It's a loaner. Um, so when I look at trucks, I think about what do I need it for. Now, this little truck that I have works perfect for what I need. What do I tote around? Well, I've toted risers with it. I've cut tree branches down and loaded up tree branches and taken them to the dump. I throw bags of trash in it. I take, you know, oil and take it to a guy that burns oil here in town. Things like that. Do I pull a camper? No. So the little inline 2.4 liter motor does just fine for me. Um, I take cables and amps and uh, all kinds of stuff like that for choir. Um, so I don't really pull a lot of weight around. Um, basically, I need a vehicle that I can throw things in. Um, I might one day buy some, a, a, a keyboard or move a keyboard, a digital keyboard, uh, from here to there. But I definitely am not going to be moving around uh, anything, any big pianos or anything like that. Um, so this truck is absolutely perfect for me that brings us to the point why are people buying these big turbo diesel trucks and all they do is haul, haul their butts to Popeyes or uh, to Wendy's or something like that they're driving these huge trucks big monstrous wheels uh, big bling rims they're spending uh, outrageous amounts of money on them and uh, they don't pull anything some of them or even would get upset if you climb this in the back of the bed because they're afraid you would scratch it. So what's the point? For me, a truck is for work. And so if I want a truck, if this truck uh, blows up or something goes wrong with it, blows a head gasket, the, the timing chain snaps, uh, which I hear is very rare on these Toyota trucks. That's all it's called. It's just called a Toyota truck. It's not called uh, any name. So what would be the next truck I'd probably buy? Either one very much like that or maybe a Toyota Tacoma, a small one. Not one of these double cabs and all that stuff. Just basically a truck. I don't really want a truck to be a car. I'm not really going to take it out of town a lot. I'm probably going to use it to load bags of, of, um, bags of garbage um, or garbage. Uh, things like that uh, for small you know jobs that you do clean up things work so uh, I think that people that buy these big full-size trucks it's overkill if you have nothing to pull with it and I'm never gonna buy a, a, a camper I'm just not gonna do it uh, very likely I ever will um, uh, I don't have any interest in that I'm never gonna buy a boat just not something that I'm interested in. Um, maybe one day I'll go with friends and they will take a boat out and I will, you know, enjoy a day with them. But that's going to be about it. I'm, you know, I'm a pretty simple man. I'd rather spend my time uh, during the day at the keyboard or going for a nice leisurely walk or something like that. Uh, camping out to me is going out that night, making a fire, roasting some marshmallows. Uh, you know, that kind of thing, making some s'mores, and then going back home. Um, if I'm going to travel around the country, instead of buying a $50,000 RV, I would stay in a nice motel, enjoy the amenities. I would then go around to the local things that are uh, available. 
maybe uh, go to an opera, maybe go to a musical, a Broadway musical, do something like that, enjoy the outdoors, go for a hike, and then get back in my vehicle and continue on. I'm not the kind of person that wants to go lay on the ground. And so uh, some people like that, um, and I don't. Um, I'm not really the outdoorsy type. Uh, being outdoors to me means work. Uh, but I do like nature and uh, that kind of thing. So a lot of times I feel like trucks are way overkill. Uh, in fact, in my town, it's, it's quite comical. You'll see an old granny driving by with a turbo diesel truck. Why? Why? <laughs> I know what you're going to say. Because she can afford it and it's none of your business. Well, are you sure? You sure it's none of our business? You need to think about that. I can go into a, I can give you about five reasons right off the top of my head why it is our business. I mean, I don't believe that we should go environmentally nuts, but why should people be driving big gas guzzling vehicles and sucking up all the petroleum uh, when they don't need that? I mean, she would be just fine driving around a, a, a simple, modest, basic Camry or you know, a Honda Accord or something like that. Why does she need that big monstrosity of a vehicle? Well, some people have the false belief that big vehicles are safer. Well, I challenge you right here on YouTube to watch the crash test. The most safe vehicles on the road are sedans. Oh, I'm telling you, watch. Uh, most SUVs, Suburbans, trucks, they'll dump you right out on the pavement. Uh, and it happens that uh, uh, sedans uh, score the best on average or, or uh, trucks score no better than driving just a basic sedan. Um, so there you go. My advice on a truck is buy the truck that you need. What do you need to haul? And, and if don't buy a truck at all if you have a friend that already has a truck and they say, you know what, you can borrow it whenever you need it just for these little jobs, then I just buy a sedan. Cheaper to insure, cheaper to run. Uh, they ride better, they get better gas mileage. Now, you may challenge me on they ride better, but uh, some people claim that these trucks ride really nice, but the gas mileage. Buy yourself an Avalon and get 30 miles of the gallon. You know, and, and uh, they still haul very well. And there's some people that are really clever at taking a small vehicle and using uh, uh, these things that they can add to the, the rear end that adds extra space uh, and makes them a bigger vehicle. So that's my attitude on trucks. That's where I stand. Uh, people are buying way more than they need. Uh, I think that modest, uh, moderation is the best policy. Don't buy more truck than you need. Um, the biggest truck I'll probably ever own would be like, I think now they have names. I think it'd be a, like a Tacoma, you know, and, uh, and I'd like a, probably I'd like a uh, topper on it. And that'll be it for me. I will never need no big turbo diesel truck. I'll never need no big full-size truck. It's just, to me, silly. So, there's my advice. Um, it's my personal opinion. Take it or leave it. But I think people th waste a lot of money to buy something, a tool that they just don't need. Um, that's the way that I fe feel. So, um, we'll talk about it more later. Trucks can be a real waste of money and a silly, silly purchase, especially if most of the time you're just driving it from here to Winn-Dixie or Piggly Wiggly or to Rosars or to Albertsons or to Safeway. You're, you're wasting your money if that's what you bought the truck for, just to drive around. And they can be beastly to park. I've watched people struggle in the parking lot just to get the things parked. Take care. Bye.